So I get it, man. You're comparing yourself to all these people online with the perfect pictures, the perfect jawline, the perfect hair, right? And you think, man, I can never compete with them. Stop it. Stop that right now, you sexy mother. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, it's easy to compare yourself to all these other people or maybe you're just comparing yourself to but your younger self or something like that and you get down on yourself. That's very human and very normal thing to happen. It actually happens to everyone. Everybody feels down sometimes. Everybody feels like they're not enough, not fit enough, not attractive enough, not tall enough, not smart enough, whatever it is. But don't fret because today I got six reasons why you are definitely hotter than you think you are and these are non-argumentable Arg argument arg whatever don't argue with me not even in the comments okay maybe we can argue in the comments because it's fun but let's get right into it if you guys like this video i'd really appreciate it if you pull out your phone and follow me on instagram at brett mvrk we have a lot of fun over there and i post a lot of stuff you won't find anywhere else so i'd really appreciate it okay reason number one is that everybody that you meet has a different version of you in their head no two versions of you are the same in people's minds or their eyes. Have you ever met somebody and you're like, man, I really like that guy. And your friend's like, that guy? I thought he was annoying as hell. That's because everybody has different perceptions based on uh, previous interactions, previous experiences, and you know, maybe how they were brought up uh, throughout culture and their family. All these different variables can change how you perceive somebody. Attractiveness wise, also personality. So there is a different version of you in every single person's head. Yes, even your parents. So what matters is that you make yourself the best version of yourself possible. So, you know, get in fit, taking care of your grooming, your style, all that stuff. And then associating with people who are gonna create a good version of you in their head. Because what's the use of hanging around people that have a bad version of you in their head? That's not gonna be good for anyone, right? So if you're getting down on yourself because maybe some group of people doesn't like you, hey, that group, find a group that does like you. All right, keeping this moving. Number two is that you dress better than the people around you. You're watching my channel right now, so I'm assuming that you watch some other style and men's lifestyle channels, and I'm assuming that you're kind of optimizing the way that you dress and the way you put your best foot forward, right? So maybe you're not the tallest or the most jacked person in the world, but dressing well can actually make up for some of these physical downfalls. Now I've done multiple videos on this before, but one easy way to take your style to the next level is rocking a nice classic timepiece. So shout out to Vincero for sponsoring this video. I freaking love these watches. They are my go-to, literally. Go look through any of my past footage. I'm almost always rocking a Vincero watch. Surgical grade stainless steel, Citizen Moyota quartz movement, sapphire coated mineral crystal glass. These things are beautiful. These watches were created by a group of guys that thought, hey, you shouldn't have to break the bank for a nice watch. So they created these watches that are the quality of watches 10 times the price point, and they're sure to turn some head when you're walking down the street. If you want to be taken seriously, something that I always say is dress how you want to be addressed. So if you look like somebody who commands respect, people are gonna treat you as such. And you know how this works. I got a deal, so you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. Check out the link in the description. They're having a fifth anniversary sale from August 11th to 18th, so click on the link in the description and take advantage of that. I'm wearing the Chrono S Gunmetal Gray, uh, so if you like the way that that looks, then check it out, man. Maybe it's for you. All right, the third reason you're better looking than you think is that you look bad in pictures, right? All right, so imagine this, you're getting ready to go out, you're looking in the mirror, you're like, dang, man, I'm looking fly. Then you go out, you're with some friends, somebody snaps a picture, you think, that's me? You guys let me go out like this? What the hell, guys? But here's the thing. When you look at yourself in a mirror, you're actually seeing a reflected version of yourself. So it's actually not how you look straight on. Everything will be flipped in real life. Look at this diagram and maybe it'll make a little more sense. But what the main thing is, is you're just not used to seeing you how you really are. And also when you take a picture, there's things like camera distortion, there's different angles that can, that maybe aren't so flattering, right? You maybe you got a little double chin going that you wouldn't normally have. So cameras are really capturing you at your worst. That's why every time you see somebody on Instagram, I guarantee you they snapped probably a hundred pictures to get that one. And I bet you when you're looking at that picture, you're trying to find your flaws. You're looking at the things that, you know, are insecurities to you. And that brings me to my next point is you 
are your biggest critic. You obsess over your flaws, you know. For me, I got kind of a mature hairline going on. I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm not pumped about it, but you know, I've learned to accept it, right? Maybe for you, you got a small nose, big lips, something like that, who knows? But the point is that other people aren't obsessing over that like you are. They look at you as a whole. So that's the fourth point is, People take you as a whole. They're looking at the whole you, including your awesome personality. So if that's on point, then that's gonna bring your average up all the way up here. So don't sweat the small stuff because nobody's probably even noticing it anyways. All right, that brings us to number five, and that is you're comparing yourself to others. Yes, of course, there are people that are generally you know, put in the category of more attractive. But like I've said before, and I'll say it again, you can be the sweetest strawberry but not everybody likes strawberries. I've certainly got turned down by certain people. I certainly have haters, people that don't like me, don't like my personality or the way that I look. But here's the thing, somewhere out there, there's somebody that finds you extremely attractive. And I know for a fact, there's people that find me extremely hideous. So the point is you need to get out there, experience life, find the people that are gonna like you the way that you are, because I guarantee there's hundreds of thousand people out there that will. And I'll leave you with this, comparison is the thief of joy. So don't worry about what other people got going on, just worry about what you got going on. And that brings us to our last reason, and that is science. A scientific study from the University of Florida had a thousand people rate themselves, and it actually found that people were 27% more attractive than they rated themselves. And that makes me really sad man you're not living life to your full advantage if you're lacking 27 percent confidence on the way that you look so just remember that guys don't get down on yourself think of yourself as that stud that i know you are think of how attractive you are now and then add 27 percent how about that that's what i'm gonna do and damn, damn. thanks for watching the video guys that's gonna do it for today i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already subscribe turn post notifications on check out vincero link will be in the description and for and, and what I almost just messed up my own intro. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>